Hello everyone and welcome to Top Things, where we've got another interesting video full of tasty bites. Today we'll go over some of the terrible times that The Walking Dead performers endured, so be prepared for a bit of a letdown when it comes to some of the show's key players who supposedly struggled during filming. Before we begin, please subscribe, enable notifications, and give us a thumbs up if you're excited for the video. Number 1. Tom Payne Jesus, the lead character in the program who was killed off in the ninth season, is recognized as Jesus on the show. Tom Payne stated that he became bored of portraying Paul Jesus Rovia and decided to do something else with the role. For him, the program's storyline was becoming weak and he desired to have a stunning effect on the show, which resulted in his character being killed off in season 9 at his own request, despite the fact that his character was still alive and fully involved in the comics. While he was pleased with his character's resolution, he was unhappy that his character lacked the coolness shown in the comics. Number 2. Jeffrey DeMunn Prior to the third season, Jeffrey DeMunn portrayed the role of Dale Horvath on the show. Although this, his character's death, came as a result of him wanting to be taken off the program, the exact same thing happened to Tom Payne. If you're curious, I'll tell you why. It came as a shock to many when Frank Darabont was unexpectedly removed from the program he was running, The Walking Dead. Darabont and DeMunn have worked together in movies including The Shawshank Redemption, The Green Mile, and The Mist, all of which were directed by Darabont. DeMunn's dismissal had such a great impact on him that he no longer wanted to remain on the show. Number 3. Lori Holden This was one of the most irritating characters on the program, and Lori Holden did a great job with her performance. In the season 3 finale, the character was killed off after he was bitten by a walker. On the other hand, Lori did not beg for her character's death unlike Tom Payne and Jeffrey DeMunn, and this was distressing for her. Even though she had an 8-year contract with the series, she was killed off as the story suddenly altered. Glenn Mazzara, the former showrunner, had informed her on the night before the filming that they were unable to complete the episode properly and the script was revised to feature her character's death. Even though Andrea didn't die in the same manner as in the comics, it's intriguing to note that she even began a connection with Rick. We really appreciate your continued support. Thank you for watching this video so far, and if you're liking it, we'd very much appreciate it if you would like the video. If you want to see videos similar to this one, be sure to switch on alerts as we make a continual effort to post new films and send you an alert so you don't miss out. Number 4. Michael Rooker The sudden deaths of actor Michael Rooker and Laurie, just like Laurie, occurred in the program. When he found out just two weeks before the filming day that his time on the program was coming to an end, it was heartbreaking for him. While Rooker was happy to discover that he was out of a job, his momentary elation faded quickly when he realized he could no longer act. 5. Josh McDermott Although Josh didn't perish in the series, he had difficulties throughout shooting. McDermott's persona drew criticism for which he was bullied by his fans and threatened with death. While shooting, he had a horrible experience, and the abusive internet comments pushed him to give up on social media. Still, after overcoming the challenges, he was able to find a group of his genuine admirers on the internet who joined together to apologize for the individuals who had treated him poorly. Number 6. Stephen Yoon Many fans were disappointed by the passing of Stephen Yoon in the program. The fact is, Yoon was very delighted to be off the show. Yoon wasn't thrilled to be on the show and he admitted feeling lost during the series' production. Although it was nice not to be on the program, it allowed him to begin a new life as a father. At the moment, he's working on his creative and financial goals. He just completed work on many animated programs for Netflix, such as Troll Hunters, Voltron Legendary Defender, and Stretch Armstrong and the Flex Fighters. 
to find out that even the performers are faced with problems both on and off the set is quite upsetting. But when we think about it, perhaps it's the drive to succeed that inspires artists to produce quality work. Even though they are human, showing kindness to them will not only benefit us, but them as well. To keep the videos interesting, helpful, and to the point, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to Top Things, and activate alerts for future videos. Oh.